Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host, the most time boy, Double Country Time Boy TV. First of all, I wanna thank, thank you all. If you guys don't know, now you know we just hit half a million views in total on this channel. That is absolutely absurd to me. We're at 513,000 views right now at the moment last time I checked. But to me, that is crazy. It's like a dream come true to me. Like, this is like a great passion of mine on like YouTube. I love making videos and shit and making content. Love going to the city. Like, this all started with me uh, buying Supreme and reselling and stuff. And now it turned into something else. And I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me, uh, like, just help me follow my passion. Because without you guys, it wouldn't have been possible. I know it's a small channel. I know it's something crazy, but still, it means a lot to me. And I want to thank you guys so much. And of course, I have this giveaway running. I know it's something crazy once again. Like, I'm just, I don't, I don't be making that much money, but I do have this Supreme Pilot marker right up here. $20 giveaway. You know what I'm saying? It's free. I mean, it's $20 value. It's completely free. All you gotta do is check out my Instagram. You gotta follow that on. It's on the Gleam giveaway. It's a Gleam giveaway. So, pretty much what happens is that you'll be contacted if you are the winner by email. And all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. That's all you gotta do. I appreciate it so much. And this could be yours. It's dead stock. You know, not never open. I did I actually have one opened. And I gotta warn you, bro, that smell is insane. It smells like straight graffiti, straight paint. So uh, I did write it on here, you know, Time Boy TV. Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. But we do got hella, hella pickups today. We got Supreme, and we got a shit ton of Nike. Like, Nike, please sponsor me. Say, I'm out, please. That'd be hella dope. We got all these are Nike packages. We got a Nike package right here, and then we got a Supreme package right up here. So it's about to be hectic and crazy. Uh, this is Supreme pickups from week 12, fall winter 18, or week 11, week 12. And a shit ton of Nike sh just sneakers, just sneakers. I've just been stocking up on sneakers. And if you guys don't know, uh, you guys can find a lot of these items for sale at hype underscore NJ. I really don't be reselling as much as I used to. I slowed it down a bit. I've just been stocking, but a lot of items, and it's just been crazy. So we're going to go ahead and into this because these, ah, it's insane. Hopefully this shit don't fall. But first, I want to say this for last because this is actually from a consignment store, you know. So I did buy it from them, but we can go into the sneaker pickups right up here first. So I did actually open some of these, but you know, I had to cop the classic. So what happened is I had these Air Force Ones, you know, shout out, Nike, thank you very much. Uh, we, I actually did have a pair of Air Force Ones, but I completely demolished them. So I was like, you know, these are an essential piece. Boom, look at this. This is just, a, it's just your typical, nothing special about these AF ones, just your mid 07s. You got that strap on here, shout out, get the strap. Yeah, go get the strap. Um, actually what I want to do on this, just stay tuned, I'm going to give you guys a little hint, I do want to customize these, I do have actually an idea of how I want to customize them, maybe I'll show you guys, maybe I won't, I know it's kind of like a personal type of story, so we're going to see, but these are a size 10, so I can't actually wear them, and I got that just to make them customs, and hopefully, hopefully they come out as good as I thought, and maybe, you know, I want to do some different type of fabrics, different type of graphics, different type of materials, it's going to be hard to make, because you know, I don't really have access to a lot of these, but I definitely want to do it, and then we're going to maybe paint some designs as well. Just your typical clean Air Force One, and of course that clean ass AF1 paper right up there. You know, I love that paper. You guys, if you guys know, you know that I love be loving the paper. Now, yo, shout out Tom Boy T. Thank you guys if you guys are tuned. And also, please, 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 please stay tuned to the end of this video because I was really, really hard on an end screen. And I think it's kind of funny. I hope you guys will like it. Maybe you won't, maybe you will. But uh, I appreciate if you guys just stay tuned and watch that because it took me quite some time. But now I have these Jordan 1s. You know, Jordan 1s are my favorite sneaker silhouette from Nike. At the moment, currently, they sometimes they'll switch. I used to like the 3s and the 11s. Now I just love the 1s. This is personally my favorite sneaker that Nike has been doing. And they're actually have coming out with a lot of colorways. So the market is becoming kind of oversaturated on these. And they're speaking of that the Rookie of the Year are actually dropping this Saturday. And I will be going in-store for that as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that because uh, I, you know I'd be putting the in-store videos up. So this is the Nike F1 box. Not AF1, but the Air Jordan one. You know, we got the size 11 and a half, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And I will probably not be keeping these. Uh, these are not for me, but I, I mean, yeah, they, they were. They were supposed to, but they came out so shitty. I didn't, uh, I was like, because I have a similar type of sale colorway, and I thought these were a sale colorway. I was just clicking through Nike, as you can see. I was just trying to buy a bunch of shoes, but you know, that, that smell always be getting me. So we do have this. It's actually the Guava Ice colorway. I was, I thought this would be the sale one without the writing on here, and I was just greatly disappointed. I do not like the way Nike designed this sneaker right up here. It kind of looks like a woman's sneaker, but they call it a men's. I don't know why, but here you can see also in like this plasticky type thing, and also the Air Jordan 1 logo right up there. It's just, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like how they did this, and it says Nike all up over there. I don't know if you guys can pick up the detail on this camera. Hopefully it focuses in well enough. And then you can just see it's all around Jordan Wancho, but the quality is just not there. This feels like... When you take your nephew to the playground, but he starts doing Fortnite dances instead. This ain't a cheat! 
what you could say the cheaper type of material. Also, this toe box is a little bit different. And also, the shoe is way lighter than typical Jordan 1s. Uh, maybe that's the reason, the type of material they use. And it comes with the extra white laces. The insole is pretty much the same. But these are like the guava ice ones, I think. I finally realized that after I placed the order. And the sole, it just feels, it just feels like a lighter type of shoe. Then they say, for example, the core purples, which we might have in this unboxing. So stay tuned for that as well. So these were $160. The other Air Force were $100. So we're going to go ahead and put this away. Because they are some ugly ass shoes. Sorry, Nike. I love you, Nike. Nike is my favorite brand, but sometimes they be just coming out with the wackest designs. Just, just my opinion. But here we go. We got a third sneaker. Oh, I actually don't know what this is. Oof. All right. So, oh, oh, I know what this is. This isn't for me either. These are actually because you know holidays are coming. You know, we gotta bust up the fame. Oh wait, these are eleven and a half. Got <laughs> Oh, nah, fam. I ordered the wrong size. Damn it, I was ordering for myself once again. What are these? are 11 and a half. Thank you, Nike, for the free returns. We got the Jumpman logo on the front. So, as you can know, this is not no retro box. Just your typical, typical Jordan box. And we got the Jordan 23 up here. Guess what's in the box? Please, please, please. Guess in the box right now. No cheating. Pause the video. But we got these. <laughs> I wish these were the Jordan 1 highs. But these are the Jordan 1 mids, the breads, the black and red colorway. Uh, pretty the qualities are right, I guess. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of mids. These weren't supposed to be for me. But pretty much you have the same sole as the Jordan 1s. And then you have the... It's a way different quality. Quality is way crappier, not going to lie. It's not really real leather. And I'm wearing them feels does, does feel a little bit uncomfortable at the beginning. You have to break them in for a minute. And then they start creasing heavy. And then it's easy to stain these. Because the material right up here, I don't know what... It's like a type of suede-ish type material and then this isn't real leather this is just like plastic ass it doesn't feel comfortable at all but and also the tongue is different than the jordan one right up here you can see the nike air logo but these are definitely not a very popular shoe going down sbs are coming back though so shout out to all the people who haven't ogs mainly who have been stocking up on the uh, sbs because you've made the right move and if you guys checked out the tiffany dunks lately tiffany dunks have been going crazy uh in resale wise especially on StockX, you know, StockX. But anyways, you see this, just no back branding, just all over typical Jordan 1 mid silhouette. Of course, this is probably my, if I had to pick a Jordan 1 mid though, this is definitely my favorite colorway. All the other colorways are kind of cheesy, whack. Also the black and yellow though. The black and yellow colorway is pretty sick as well. So that's the third pair of shoes right here. Also the Wu-Tang Clan one. Oh, sheesh, sheesh. All right, yo, what's next? Oh, all right. So we're gonna get into the last Nike item that I have. Well, not last. The last actual Nike no collaboration piece, as you can see. Hey, yo, the shop plugged me up, and then they hold my hold me down sometimes. That hype underscore NJ, that's me. Oh, the shop I go to is actually in Westfield, New Jersey. Uh, kind of far-ish for my crew, but hey, yo, we make the journey. Anyway, so this is actually a Jordan Cement 3 box, I think. Jordan 4 box. Yeah, smells aight, smells aight, but tell me, guess what's in the box? Oh, you were just fooled, son. You were just fooled. So these are actually court purples. They did have a steal on these one day while I was in the city and I asked them if they could hold it down for me, and they did. These are actually a size 12, and compare this quality to these right here is absolutely like, they don't even compare. They don't even compare. Like, you, I hope you can, you probably could tell in the camera lighting as well, this quality is just absolute garbage on this one. So much better on this. Like, you can see the leather. And then I feel like on the rookie ones too, it's gonna be better leaning towards this quality. I hope it's also way different weight wise because of the soles they use. But this is a court purple size 12. You can see the soles right up here. It's practically dead stock. They were worn once, I bought them for $175, believe it or not. Uh, I definitely do think these are gonna be going up and like shattered backwards, possibly not. Here we even got the uh, OG purple laces. So, why this is probably one of the I wouldn't say best Jordan 1 of 2018 so far, but one of the, actually 2018 is almost over. What am I saying? But definitely up there. The quality on these is remarkable. Definitely better than the Pine Greens. If you guys haven't saw, I did post a video actually of me going in-store camping out of them for Kicks USA. I picked up a pair of these in grade school and men's, as well as a green Pine Green pair right up here. So the leather, you can see, it is a little bit creasy because they are a little bit worn, but hey, yo, super sick quality. And shout out to Handpicked Worldwide for holding it down. I appreciate that so much. But of course, yeah, I didn't get that box, yo. I wish I got that box, but you know, all good, fam. So now we move on to Supreme, probably what you guys wanted the most. So I did talk about these sneakers a shit ton on this channel, and I apologize if I keep on talking about it, especially if you took an L. Probably don't want to be hearing about it no more, but hey, yo, it's part of the unboxing because I did a review on these. However, uh, I feel like I just got to mention them because once again, I'm not going to talk about that much. Damn, that was scary. I thought that 
I mean, something was a ghost was in this cribbo. Oh, we got the AF ones, so I had copped a shit ton of Air Forces, Air Journal ones. You can see that's my only two favorite silhouettes right now that I constantly rock. I also rock a pair of Jordan Cement threes, but you know they're just a typical New York type shoe. So this is the AF one CDG full around. Uh, you guys probably saw it if you guys have been watching the channel, and I appreciate it so much. Don't think I don't. But uh, if you haven't, this is what they'd be looking like. Super sick quality. I'm going to say one last time, and I'm probably never going to talk about these again for a minute. Uh, so if you do have a chance to cop them, go ahead. But definitely, if you do have them, hold them for a minute because I guarantee you prices are bound to go up. I'm holding mine till $500. Will it reach that? We don't know, but the older ones have. And if you guys want to know about whether to hold or, or keep items that are new this season, make sure you check out my most recent video. I talk about the box logo beanie and these shoes, of course. So uh, peek that, peek that. Actually, this is not a recent cop. This is just a palace hoodie, I guess, I had in this bag. I don't know why, but that's not recent. So we go ahead into the bag of goods, and we got the Supreme Magnetic Lake. Now, this lane has actually been restocking on Supreme for quite some time. Keeps on restocking like every hour or so, especially on Sunday night. It was restocking constantly. I didn't actually get a chance to take this out because I've been so busy. But, you know, why don't we do it for the video right here, you know what I'm saying? I actually don't know what it It's kind of small, though. In pictures and in the preview and the lookbook, I thought it was going to be much bigger. We cannot ruin the box, though. And I heard it does not come with batteries, so we actually cannot use batteries. But, all right. I mean, I don't know how to really, like, complain about quality for this. But it is sick that... Oh, yeah. So this is the Paramount right up here. You have Supreme branding right up there all around. This is actually only Supreme branding on the top. And, of course, a little mini bug on the inside. Hopefully, you guys can see that right there. And it is an LED light, if I'm not mistaken. I actually do be working in construction sometimes. So it would be quite helpful at night. But there really is no point in working at night because quality can't be A1 on the house. But this retail for approximately, with shipping, I think it was $44. So around 30-ish dollars retail without shipping. Definitely sick. And the box, I honestly think is even sicker. With all the mini bogos, you can probably use it for something else. But this is mainly just a decorative piece. Not like it's going to reach any crazy amount of resale anytime soon. Right now, it's not. It's basically a reselling for retail as well. If you did cop online, if you copped in store, you'd probably make like $3 even if that. So that's supreme purchase of accessory number one. Then move on to the SOG keychain knife. This is a sand steel SOG sharp blade. I did show you guys in this my in-store cop video at BK. Also, oh, big bricks. So if you haven't checked that, make sure you check that out as well. You know, I always gotta plug myself. Thank you very much. So this is the SOG keychain. This blade is actually 1.8 inches, a lot smaller. I was hoping for a bigger blade. Now like I'm trying to do something, but like this small blade kind of just looks like, whoa, like what am I gonna do with this? But it is also sick how it has a bottle opener on it as well, which is Really don't mind. I didn't even realize that until I actually bought the item. And it's, it's a sharp blade. It's a lock back mechanism, so it locks back here. Stainless steel construction, and it is a bottle opener as well. And you can use a side latch to unlock it. However, I will not be unboxing this because I don't want to keep this for myself. And shout out to last season. I actually still do have the samurai knife. So if you did have to pick one, which one would you pick? Comment down below. You know, let me know. I don't actually, this is not SOG collab. Actually, it might be. I don't even know. No, this is a stat gear collab. So, Supreme, if you don't know, they collaborate with a lot of different brands on their knives. Sometimes it's SOG, sometimes it's stat gear, and sometimes it's some other brand as well. I think we went to the last. Oh, no, second to last. All right, we're going to pull out this item first. Here we got the Supreme Bogo Beanie. I also did talk about this item a lot. My my picture on Hype on J, my resale account, and my news account, that's where I post all our leaks and news, did actually reach 2.5K likes on this photo of me in the subway with this hat. Oh, not really of me, but it was me in the icy blue beanie. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out, of course. Thank you guys so much. But I'm not going to talk about this much either, mainly because I already talked about it a shit ton, and I don't want to bore you guys and repeat myself. So that's the BOGO beanie. And the last item we have up for grabs, up for the unboxing, is the Chris Cunningham t-shirt, which I did also style in my Instagram. So if you haven't checked out, make sure you check it out. I appreciate it so much. So this is the rubber Johnny Chris Cunningham tee, but this is actually, this, I call this the Chihuahua tee. Has a little bogo in the bottom left corner, and the retail on this was $44, if I'm not, yep, $44. This is a black size large. Uh, will I be keeping things for myself? Probably, honestly, fuck with it. Like, it's not doing any crazy numbers, so really is no point in reselling it right up here, because we do got the little bogo, so somewhat people will know what it is, but uh, the rubber Johnny video is actually very, very creepy. Shout out to Richard. Uh, he showed me that video on drop day, and I was like, yo, what the fuck did I just buy? If I knew what that video was about beforehand, I definitely probably would not have purchased this, but it's whatever. I got this item now in hand. It's a Supreme piece, so it's whatever. It's rubber Johnny Chris Cunningham kind of on the back. I thought they would have done a box logo on the back too. However, unfortunately, they did not. And they also dropped a hoodie with this and another short sleeve shirt, which was divided into six tiles. And I was just not feeling it, fam. So I pass on that completely. So that actually rounds up this entire unboxing. We got Core Purples, 
Bogo beanies. We got a shit ton of items. I appreciate those. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I uh, hope you guys cop whatever you guys would like this week because we got Union Jordan ones dropping, Rookie of the Year is dropping, possibly the Supreme Teddy Bear dropping. That's supposed to be retailing for about three hundred and fifty ish dollars around that mark. So stay tuned to my Instagrams for I don't even want to mention them more because I'll probably mention it too much. But man, go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Bless up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, subscribe. Of course, enter the giveaway down below. And I hope you guys like this end screen. Peace.